Welcome to another video blog by The Counseling Geek, a blog helping you, the professional educator, develop technical and 21st century skills. Hi, Counseling Geeks. It's Geek Master Jeff. I'm here today to bring you a uh, job hunt tip. I'm working on right now a, a digital portfolio that I can bring with me to an interview. I have an interview about 10 days and I'm looking for some way to compile all of my information and present it in a way that is high-tech, user-friendly, and easy to navigate. And I've done this before in my undergraduate program and I'm going to update what I've sort of developed. I'm starting from scratch but in a similar style and it's using Microsoft Office PowerPoint. As with just about anything, I always suggest that people plan out what they're going to try to present before they actually get too in-depth with any of the actual PowerPoint creation. Um, this is also a good tip for if you're planning on giving a presentation and it just creates a well-organized, succinct, and to the point, high-quality project that you can present and be proud of. So what I, what I tend to tell people to do is kind of storyboard. You want to lay out what you want to present, figure out how you want it organized, and then you can go in and create it, and it's much simpler and easier for you and easier for the people that are actually receiving it. All these are going to be buttons, which I'm creating, that we can hyperlink that will lead us to different slides um, that regard about me, my education, experiences, some goals, and then I just kind of briefly listed some things that I'd like to include on each page so I know that I leave enough room for each of these buttons that I can create enough and um, you know it, it just really streamlines the process and creates a really user-friendly system. So this is the final product I've really decided that I wanted to bust out my professional portfolio today because I don't want to have to worry about it later as I uh, get into my preparation for my interview coming up in about a week and a half. So I went ahead and did it. This is the final product. I'll show you through kind of backwards. It's really simple and there's only about three or four steps that you need to take to ensure that you complete the process and then it's kind of rinse, lather, and repeat. So this is the uh, professional portfolio. We're going to go ahead and uh, utilize the uh, presentation feature and I'll just show you how it works. This is our home page and you can see I created a title. There's a, a you know a short quote like I said and a summary of what I uh, you know kind of my professional summary and there are buttons down there that I created using Photoshop. You don't have to use Photoshop but it's it, it, it was just a way that I can create a cohesive design element for this and each one links to a different page in this PowerPoint presentation and on the bottom right you can also see a home button which always leads back to this front page it's always crucial to have so let's go ahead and click on one of these and we'll see what happens so I clicked on my experience button and it leads us to this I have links here to like my visualize me page thank you to another counselor who led me to onto that on the bottom down there there's links to things like letter of recommendations up on top links to the different schools and websites or schools and organizations I worked for and then I went back to the home page and now we're on my goals page and I linked to things like the ask a ramp program and um, you know different things that I really want to make sure the school district sees uh, as you can see it always links back to this home page and it's really important that we delineate which page we're going to we want to keep them clicking not using them things like their keyboard um, and we can organize these pages and set it up so that we can take advantage of school pride I guess I chose this blue kind of color because my school that I'm applying to the colors are blue I included a logo um, and this, these portfolios are highly customizable you can change anything you want and um, it it will always be accessible. So we are going to go ahead and create a new page just to show you how to do it. I went through here. I'm using PowerPoint 2010 and this is the new 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 page that we're going to be editing. Um, 
So in order to do that, I'm going to just quickly create a, put a background on here. And I'm going to go through here really quick and find it. So you got to right click. You're going to say, get background. And then I'm going to use a picture. I'm going to go file and go through my Dropbox, which I usually use for most everything. And then quickly have things saved. Select a background. Doesn't really matter which one. One thing that is important to know is that you need to try to create a filing system for this because you're going to have to package this pr PowerPoint presentation for um, a CD or a zip drive. So make sure you put all the files that you download, any file that you reference inside of the presentation into one folder. That way you can save it, make copies of everything. So now, you know, I have a background. We're going to title this front page because this is, this is going to be our kind of home base. And then after that, I'm going to create a text box. And this is really the meat and potatoes of what we're trying to do. Um, I'm just going to stylize it a little bit, kind of the cheater way to make a button. Um, if you're not going to try to customize it yourself, really easy to do. And you just type in, I'm going to type in about me because this is going to kind of be our first page. After that, the way to make this work is something called hyperlink. You can see it right down there. Hyperlink, you typically only hear that in internet. However, hyperlink is a very powerful tool in PowerPoint as well. You can connect anything to a website. You can type in that down there. Just remember to use HTTP colon backslash backslash. You can also uh, connect to any type of document. So if you have a PDF, a PowerPoint presentation, a video, anything like that, you can always connect a picture, an image, a you know, icon to that search for it. How we're going to be especially using it here is you can also connect it to any page in this presentation. So you can see we have listed there the title page. We can connect it. If we had a second page, uh, we can connect it to that and say, you know, if you click here, hyperlink it to page number two, which is about me. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now just to give you a quick example. So I created a new slide. We're going to title about me. I'm going to hyperlink again, right click, hyperlink, click on the uh, place in this document, and then the about me page, and you see a little preview pops up, you click OK, and that's it really. After that you can click on the presentation, you can test it, this is your home page, you click on about me, see so it hovers and it changes just like a link, and it goes straight to your about me page. Super powerful, you can add as many pages as you want, just add you know more more little buttons. I'm also going to show you quickly how to make a home a home button and you can download a picture from Google. You can create, this is just a simple box that I'm going to hyperlink. You can add text. So you right click, you hyperlink and I'm going to say go back to the first page and anytime that you click on this it's going to go back to the first page. So we got the home page, we clicked on the about me and down here is the home page or the home button and it takes you right back to the title page. It's very simple, very easy to use and you just keep doing that Rinse, lather, and repeat. And then you go, you know, you have five, six. I, I tend to think that less than 10 pages or 10 main buttons that you're going to kind of highlight for, um, that's usually going to be what's going to be best. One way that I like to keep a uniformity is that you can highlight everything up there. Um, see, I highlighted the professional portfolio, the title, the logo, and the home button. You control copy and then control paste onto the next slide. And that goes from slide to slide and it really creates a cohesive kind of design element. And all I did was copy and paste that and then I just changed the title text to whatever page it was. That way, uh, home stays hyperlinked to that first page. And then anytime you change the slide, it, it creates a really smooth, nothing really changes around the edges except for the text. The logo's in the same spot, the home button's in the same spot, so people that are using it know how to find it. And then, you know, it always results to the same thing. In order to wrap this up, all you have to do is go to the file, save and send button if you're on 2010, and then click on the package presentation for CD. This is going to be important because if you just save the PowerPoint presentation, you have a lot of pictures, it's not going to send the pictures and it's going to be messed up. So you want to package it for CD and then you can save it. Just make sure that you have all the information in one folder and then you can save it to a CD or a zip drive 
make sure your CD has enough space as well, or else you might uh, find yourself not able to fit on like a regular CD ROM drive. You might have to get a DVD, which kind of runs into trouble because you never know if the you know the district or whoever you're interviewing with has a DVD player in their computer. And a zip drive is great. I spend I'm probably going to go spend about five bucks each and buy you know three or four of them and just give it to them so that they they're uh, you know, if they if they end up not hiring me for some reason, they can just have it. You know, have a free zip drive on me, and you know, if it's going to get me the job, it's definitely worth the fifteen bucks that you're going to spend on it. I'm sure you can find st cheaper stuff. You know, zip drives are super inexpensive now, so just look for that. Keep uh, you know, keep trying this kind of thing. Play with it. Learn from it. Let me know how it goes. If you have any good success stories, I'd love to hear it from you. I'll share with you if I you know something comes out of this first this interview here. And uh, you know, I'd love to learn from you. You guys share new things with me every day, and I appreciate it. So stay tuned for a more awesome information from the Counseling Geek, and I look forward to seeing you around Twitter. Thank you for stopping by. Come back soon. Comments and questions are always welcome. You can connect with The Counseling Geek via Facebook by following at Counseling Geek on Twitter, adding me to your circles on Google+, or writing to me via email.